Hi guys. I was going to try and juggle some stuff, but I realized very quickly I don't know how, and I'm not good at it, um, and I didn't want to bruise any of our fruit that we have at home. So um, I'm just wearing this fun hat, and um, I'm going to be goofy as always. So um, we're doing 10.4 notes today, areas of trapezoids and triangles, so I will see you in a second. All right, you guys, we have our 10.4 notes here, areas of trapezoids and triangles. Um, look at this rectangle below. Wow, four sides, amazing. Its area is base times height square units. The diagonal divides the rectangle into two congruent triangles. The area of each triangle is half the area of the rectangle or half base times height square units. The result is true of all triangles. So, here we go. If a triangle has an area of A square units, a base of B units, and a corresponding altitude of H, or height, units, then area equals one-half base times height. It's going to look like this, and this is what the shape will look like. All right? So if we come down here, we're looking for our area. One-half base 19 times height 14. If you guys are doing this in your calculator, I would suggest just doing all three right away. So I would do 0.5 times 19 times 14, and we get our area to be 133 centimeters squared because it's area. Okay, don't forget that squared. All right, area equals one half base times height. Multiply this in my calculator. 0. 0.5 times 11. 0. 0.5 times seven. My area is 40. 0.25 feet squared. Again, it's area, so we got to have that squared. Okay? Over here, the shape's a little different, but we just drop the tallest point down to get our height. One half base, eight height, 4.2. Point five times eight times four point two sixteen point eight meters squared. Again, don't forget that squared, it's an area. Oh, you try it, but we're gonna try it together anyways. So we have I'm gonna write our formula up here again so we don't forget because I can't see it right now, it's up there too high. One half, base is six, height four and one third. The reason I cannot figure out how to get this fraction into my calculator, so I didn't like this. I get my area to be 13 yards squared. Again, squared because it's area. Now I can do one half base. 23, height, 18, 207 miles squared. Whatever this is, is huge. So hopefully it's not anything around here. Then lastly, one half base is 10.3 times 12. Sixty-one point eight millimeters squared. That's our answer. All right. Now, if we go over here, we have some trapezoids. You can find the area of a trapezoid in a similar way. The altitude or height of a trapezoid is h. 
and it is a segment perpendicular to each base. So here we got, if a trapezoid has an area of A square units, bases of base 1 and base 2 units, and an altitude of H units, then this is our formula, and this is what our picture would look like. So it costs $25.80 per square foot, meaning this is area, to replace a car window. How much would it cost to replace the window in the micro car? So we have, my paper is not moving, there we go. We have a trying, or a, sorry, trapezoid here. One foot, this base is two thirds. And this is one and one sixth. So my formula is one half height, which is one, times base one, two thirds plus base two, which I'm gonna con oops, I'm gonna convert this one to sixths. Four sixths plus Six seven seven six. I'm just gonna make it a mixed or a, just a fraction. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven sixths times half of one is just a half. I'm gonna put this in my calculator. And I get point nine one six feet squared, and I'm going to multiply my answer I got in my calculator by the price, 25.80, and I'm going to get $23.65. If someone else wants to try this problem and thinks I'm wrong, could be possible. You let me know. I cannot figure out how to do fractions on this calculator. Whatever. It's fine. That's what I got. But this is a mini micro car, so this would be very, very small. So, alright. Find the area of the trapezoid. So we have one half height, base one plus base two. My height is 18. My base 1 is 27, plus my base 2 is 32, half of 18, 9, 27 plus 32 is 59, multiply those together, I get 531 centimeters squared, and that's my answer for this problem. And that's it for those notes. Um, I think this is probably something you have done before, maybe in middle school. Um, but we're going to keep this theme going with polygons and area and measurements and all that. Um, for our next section is areas of regular polygons. So um, good luck on your homework for this section. We'll zoom to go over any questions you have for notes or the homework, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, guys.